Four, there we go, three, it's flaring. Ten, retard. And retard. Okay, engines are retarded. The rollout's happening. Auto brakes are working. Quickly pull the reversers. Spoilers, reversers green. And we have the cell. Autopilot is keeping us nice in the center. And the aircraft is decelerating. So we performed the takeoff. Uh, we got high enough uh, and we're accelerating. And good lord, what do we have now? <laughs> okay, so master caution, flaps, uh, slats locked, wingtip breaker on, maximum speed 215. So, I'm gonna quickly pull this, make it 215 for the maximum speed. In fact, I'm just gonna lower it down to 210. All right, and continue with this max speed 215 knots, fuel consumption is increased, and the FMS prediction is unreliable as, at, as of this point. I'm going to clear that and then the uh, flaps are locked as well with the breakers on maximum speed 215 knots fuel consumption increase as well uh, FMS pre uh, prediction is unreliable so essentially speaking what has happened is the flaps and slats have jammed all right and the wingtip breaker for some reason has chosen to lock them now with the wingtip breaker on and the slats and flaps pretty much jammed in that position if I try to move them to flaps up you can see they're locked in that position they're not gonna do anything all right if I try to go flaps one or still the same problem then I'm going to see flaps two they're not moving the flaps and slats are jammed all right so there's nothing I can do so I'm gonna keep the flaps at uh, at zero and I'm going to maintain a clean speed. So today our clean speed is just under 215 knots. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it at 210 for now. And I'm going to basically climb up to 5,000 feet. So I stay within the MSA of this area. And I'm going to request a hold at Acorn. So that I can kind of, um, you know, so that I could r kind of see if I can fix this problem and uh, see what happens. So we're gonna go on inbound of 075 and it's gonna be a right hand turn and I'm gonna insert that and there we go. There's our hold at Acon and we're just gonna be in the hold until we can get this problem resolved. So right now on the status page, it says the fuel consumption has increased. The fuel procedure, the approach procedure for this situation is to use a flaps tree landing center tanks must be off and the GPWS should be flaps 3 all right and the approach speed is VRF plus 15 and a landing distance procedures apply now given that this situation is going to keep us with with flaps and slats out all right and we cannot slow the aircraft down anymore because what's going to happen <laughs> because we would be risk stalling the aircraft all right, so what we want to do now is we basically need to look at some parameters over here. Like for example, if I was to bring up the airport information at uh, Gatwick, all right, let me try to bring that up here. So the airport information, so Gatwick will probably be using runway 26 left for the approach, uh, which is a 10,800 foot runway. That's really good, all right? And that's, uh, that's, that's probably going to be enough for us. Now looking at our landing weight, our maximum landing weight is 65, 66 tons. We're at 65, 100 tons. So we can go ahead and, uh, and, and do this landing. Now also we would need to jump into the, uh, into the, into the QRH of the Airbus A320. And we're gonna have to go into the abnormal procedures and we go over to flight controls and we go to landing with slats or flaps jammed all right so as it says repeat the following procedure vfe plus uh, next minus five and i need to calculate my distance uh, for the landing all right if it's a slats fault maximum speed is negative 10 diversion flaps fault negative 10 all right and then the green or yellow system should uh, maintain close speed to the VAPP. If uh, flaps are jammed at zero, select the clean configuration. Uh, if, the, uh, if the flaps and slats are jammed at greater than zero, which they are, it's they're in the one position, 
Um, recommended speed. Uh, recommended speed for diversion is maximum speed minus ten. All right. So, so that's pretty much uh, what we got to do now. So we're we're gonna have to bring this aircraft in and do a high speed landing. All right. So when landing configuration on final approach. Flaps zero will be 230 knots, but we've got a maximum speed of that. And then we've got, all right, 215. Uh, okay, it's this one here, one plus F, that's where they're stuck. So the speed is gonna be 200 knots that we wanna maintain at all times. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much the limitation I have right now. So the, the situation now is for me to bring the aircraft in and land it in, a very high speed this is going to be a high speed landing for sure okay so what I'm gonna do declare my mayday blah 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 all that kind of stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go to secondary flight plan copy active I'm gonna change this to uh, echo golf kilo kilo actually no I'm not gonna do that I'm actually gonna go here and I'm gonna take a waypoint after this and I'm going to go new destination echo golf kilo kilo Put it over there insert now at echo golf kilo kilo i'm gonna go ahead and go for the arrival we're gonna do an ils into runway two six left no stars insert all right we're gonna be vectoring our way back in there now after that what i want to do is i'm gonna do the rat nav page we're going to be um let me bring up the chart here for uh runway two six uh left which is that one right over there. So the approach for runway 26 left, frequency is 110 decimal nine with a uh, final course of 257 degrees. And uh, for the final approach segment of this, the minimums are at 396, all right? So, and there is a VOR, which is the Mayfield VOR. So on the right now page, I'm gonna put May in there and put me on the top as well. Frequencies are correct, progress, it's gonna be Echo Golf Kilo Kilo, two six left over there. And I'm gonna come over to the performance page and I'm gonna to go to the QNH. Let me get the uh, updated information for London. I hope you guys can see my screen. All right, the updated information is uh, variable at one knot cab K20. All right, looking at the ATIS information, Gatwick information airport, and QNH is 1016, it's information Bravo. And um, the runway in use is 08 right now with an ILS approach to be expected. Ah, interesting. Okay, so it's 08 right. Fair enough. Okay, so let's go back over here and uh, let's pick, uh, yep, ILS 08 right, insert. Okay. So we've got the runway in there, we've got the red nav in there as well, we've got progress, performance now with, for runway 08 right, which is now the, the runway I need to look at, all right, ILS uh, for runway 08 right, frequencies are checked, all good, and um, yeah, the minimums here are 396, all right, so the QNH is 1016, let me just double check that. Yep, the QNH is 1016, and uh, I'm gonna put that in there. The temperature at the airport right now is 20 degrees. The winds are variable at one, so good conditions. And our minimums today are 396, all right? Gonna go there, 396. So that's the situation I'm having. And uh, what I need to do now in operating systems are the flaps and slats. Fortunately, they're a little bit out, which kind of helps me out. But yeah, now it's time to basically go ahead and vector ourselves back towards um, that runway. All right, so we're gonna go, come out of our hold and we're basically gonna go on a right hand downwind for that runway. So I'm initially gonna go to a heading of 240 the approach starts at 3,000 feet, so we're gonna descend down to 3,000, and we're keeping 200 knots, and uh, yeah. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, I was gonna tell the aircraft, we're gonna do a flap three, a config three landing, as the uh, QRH says to do so, and I'm come up here and select config three as well on that. 
Now the good thing this is an ILS, so that's going to help me out in terms of uh, getting the aircraft down. Now I'm going to also go with medium auto brakes on this because I'm going to need as much stopping power as I could possibly get. So medium auto brakes, I'm going to clear this. We've done our landing distance. We've got uh, we've got what we need uh, in terms of our calculations, and the aircraft now is uh, essentially trying to slow it, trying to slow itself down. Now, if you look over here, there's my minimum speeds right over there. All right. Now, what I'm going to do now is I am going to start configuring as quickly as I can. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give the aircraft flaps one. Now as you can see, the barber pole comes down and the speed limitation is there. So we've got flaps one. It says to use flaps three. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select flaps three. All right, now I selected flaps three, uh, but the flaps and slats are not going to move. All right, I'm just keeping it in that position for the landing, all right? And we've got config three selected there as well and config three selected there. So. That's pretty much it that I can do for now. And I'm gonna now reduce my speed so that the aircraft is flying in a safe manner, all right? I'm gonna bring it back down to about 160 knots. I'm gonna dial in 160. And that's gonna help us help the aircraft to stay below the maximum speed and definitely above the minimum speed. So we're still okay, we're still okay. Gonna clear this message over here. And uh, the only thing left to do after this would be to get the landing gear down and then make the turn for final all right so guys i'm going to be flying out so i just want to the final approach fix happens at india golf golf uh which is uh foxtrot uh, so i'm gonna i'm going to now sequence my flight plan which is foxtrot foxtrot 08 right and it's going to be a radial in of 257 and I'm gonna pull that heading. So now I have basically sequenced my flight plan and I've got 30 miles, 30 track miles to go. There's the airport right over there. Gonna make my way around, join the ILS and uh, bring the aircraft in for a landing. <laughs> All right, gear down. All right, gear down, tree green. I can arm the spoilers now. So now our speeds are gonna be kept at 150. So 150 is just above the uh, the minimum speed and definitely not busting through the maximum speed all right so we're we're at a safe place here we're probably going to have a higher angle of attack than usual but it's okay we're we're fine <laughs> landing checklist is completed we've got landing no blue and as you can see i've selected flaps three but they're stuck in the one position there's nothing i can do about that right now all right, there's our runway coming, coming into view. We've crossed 1,000, all systems are checked, and we're proceeding for the landing. Okay, we've got land, and we are now committed to our landing. 150, just right on that F speed as well, so our parameters are good. 300. 300 feet. Here comes 100 the above. runway. 100 above. 200. Minimum. All right, continue. 100. The aircraft is now going to go into the flare. 50, 40. There we go. 30, it's flaring. 10. Retard. Retard. Okay, engines are retarded. The rollout's happening. Auto brakes are working. Quickly pull the reverses. Spoilers, reverses green, and we have diesel. Autopilot is keeping us nice in the center, and the aircraft is decelerating. All right, very good. Here comes the other runway. There's 70 knots. Back to idle reverse and full idle. And we'll bring the aircraft to a stop at the end of the runway. All right, going to turn off the autopilot now. And uh, I'm just gonna stop the aircraft on the runway. We've got the fire team coming as well. All right, cool. Set the parking brakes. 